this plant was responsible for the Industrial Revolution because they made the coal. This moss here is polytrichum, and there's some a little dry up there. It's one of the later ones that comes comes along, but we'll see some of the mosses that come on at first. Uh, the object is to get enough substrate so that they can uh, make it. it. This little plant, I'm sorry, is not in bloom, but maybe it is on the other side. It's called Dimorpha, and that's the full size. They have just white, white bloom. Uh, this is a, one of the first things that come in. It's called Grimia, and this is a lichen. This is a moss. If you pee on this, it'll turn green. <laughs> uh, this is Parmelia, uh, a, li a lichen that Parmelia. is a mixture of a fungus and a algae, and they are in communion with each other and so on. But we'll see this more and more. Yeah, but I have to get down anyway, don't I? <laughs> uh, but this is the first thing that comes in. <laughs> This builds up a little bit of substrate, and uh, then this dies in the summer and so forth, builds up a little substrate, and then what comes in next is polytrichum, and we'll see some more of it, but there's a reindeer moss, which is also a lichen. Uh, but the thing is that each of these plants in succession makes it easy for something to come in that's going to replace them because it's gotten more substrate. So they, they con contribute to their own downfall, <laughs> which people do too. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here is some reindeer moss, which is a lichen too. This is Cladonia, and this is poly Polytrichum and Cladonia. They come in after those other two. Which species of the Cladonia is this one? Uh, there are several species. I know. <laughs> uh, but uh, rain, reindeer lichen. I know. This. It'll blew it. Yes. We'll see lots of bluets. Yes. This is Houstonia cerulean. Yes. The, the uh, Cherokee Indians boil <laughs> the leaves so that uh, it keeps from peeing in the bed. <laughs> it's called... Uh, to, there is another species of, of Houstonia, which is Priscilla, which we'll get to later. About 50 years, this will look a lot like that. Uh, this is just primary succession, the very start. And then you get in some Grimia, and uh, a little palmelia, and, and uh, they add to the substrate. Most of this rock is sandstone with little pebbles in it, a, a, a quartz. It's called conglomerate, and uh, it's all over the top of the mountain. You get down to fiery. Uh, Shake Rag Hollow, and you're gonna get into some limestone, and that's why you get such different different plants. Here, I'm looking to see if it's yeah. Pond, pond of flower. This is little brown jug. There's a little j jug underneath, and, and there's another one up there. I put it probably a jug under. Yep. Yeah, you can, uh, you can see the two little jugs. More. You can see the two little jugs. Oh yeah, I can see two little jugs there. Yeah. Uh, don't expect to drink anything from them. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, you know, pa palmelia will grow on almost anything. Rock, bark, so on, and there are a lot of different species. Although it is itself a mixture of two species. Uh, but at any rate, I once uh, taught a course in... Wait, I see something else. This is crane fly orchid here. Uh, the best way to tell crane fly orchid is uh, you turn the leaf over and it's purple underneath. Uh, if the leaves disappear and up comes this beautiful, be about this, this tall, what look like a whole bunch of crane flies, which is like big mosquitoes, up and down, and uh, this you won't see, but you see this all winter. This is called cushion moss. Uh, it it wouldn't start on a a dry rock, so it it has to start on a moist moist ground, but cushion moss. What would the genera be of it? Uh, they change that oh. about, about once a week, I think. <laughs> you, you know, Houstonia was the name for bluets. Yes. Then they changed it to Hediolus. But and now and, and, and now they're back again, Houstonia, so. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> Lycopodium digitatum. D-I-G-I-T-A-T-U-M. Didn't people used to collect this for Christmas? Yes, yes. Uh, now it's against against the law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won't keep it for Christmas. Take her picture. I know, I just got her name. I don't have your name tag. No name tag. I'll have that just for you. It sets up the spores here, and the spores are so tiny, they use use it in physics experiments because it will explode. <laughs> Bang! And you know when they used to take pictures yeah, with a camera and put this powder all up and down on the thing and then when they took the picture it was a big, big, big flash. It was the spores of this thing. <laughs> Diamorpha, D-I-A-M-O-R-P-H-A, small e-i, S-M-A-L-L-I-I. His name for old small, who was a botanist. How long ago were the people? Uh, these were the middle and early woodlands. But before them, there were the archaic and the uh, uh, paleos. And you don't find many paleo things. That was, they hunted prehistoric game. Didn't have a bow and arrow, they, and neither did the uh, uh, archaic. They used spears with, with a saw. Well, that was quite worthwhile. We go back or we make a loop? Yeah, we, do, we get back to the road.